Taven, coach was telling us that um, at halftime of the Michigan State game before the coach's guide and some players were already, you know, coaching up the rest of the team to kind of start the second half right. Kind of what have you seen from that and are players kind of taking control and, and, and you know, becoming leaders in that regard? I feel like it plays a big part in our goal this season during the off season, coach uh, emphasizing to us that we are a player led team. So us taking on that role and responsibility was big and it's showing up more and more every day that we're all around each other and in like halftime in the locker room we all we all knew uh that first half like we tend uh, to like slow down die down we needed to get back going and we all knew that so we all rallied together and uh attempted to pick things up hey octavian who's a guy that you've really seen kind of step into a leadership role this year I would say a young guy, a freshman that came in, Dylan Wade, the tight end. Okay. Uh, he's played a big role. He's very vocal, and he, like, he came in uh, when we were in the off season. He came in like um, putting in a lot of work, uh, trying to make his name known, trying to become one of those guys. And he's been uh, blessed to have the opportunity to be a part of our leadership council. So I say him being a young guy, being able to take on that role is pretty big. And then we heard a lot about Glendon Miller. Just yeah. Now. He's got a reputation as a big hitter. Has he ever <laughs> gotten you with a big hit? Uh, nah, Glenn has not. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tay, uh, you know, last time Mar back here. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> You're good. Last time Maryland was 5-0 and uh, was before you were born. A win this week, and the Terps are 5-0. and How cool would it be to be a part of a team to deliver that to this fan base and this program this week? I think it would be pretty big, but then again, it all dies back down to us, how we play, how we prepare this week. Um, coach emphasized to us that this week our focus is playing to our standard, and if we do that, we're likely to win the game this weekend. So we're just uh, preparing ourselves this week, digging hard through practice, and uh, trying to, like you said, come out 5-0. and That would be pretty big for us. Based on the success and the way you guys have played in these first four games, uh, how do you guys feel about the way you're playing and, and how excited are you guys to you know, carry that into this game here? Uh, we feel pretty good, but we know that there's a lot more that we can achieve. Um, we're aware of that our first three games, we, we didn't start off the way that we know we're capable, but we finished strong. And this past weekend, we started off pretty strong, but we didn't finish like we know we're capable. So uh, this going into this week, our goal is to have a complete game and truly show like to ourselves, not just to the world, like what we're capable of uh, achieving this season. Yeah, Taven, um, receivers coach Gunnar Browers, what is he like and you know, what kind of impact has he had on you in your time here? Uh, he's had a huge impact on me. He's one of those coaches, he genuinely loves you and cares for you. And being, uh, him being able to coach me as well as all the other receivers, it's pretty big because uh, I'm sure as, as you know, I, he coached Randy Moss. He, co he has a lot of guys in the NFL. Uh, he has NFL experience. So being able to like learn from that, ga uh, gain gems from that is pretty big. And I just intake all that information as much as I can. Yeah, going off that experience, you know, the top receivers that he's coached over his years, just what are some things in particular that you've learned from him and maybe been able to lean on that experience that he has? Uh, I'll say understanding uh, he has this slogan, uh, freak, like uh, the freak, uh, freak time, show time. So him uh, breaking that down to us, it challenges all of us in the room to, uh, to be a freak, which is a fresh receiver, exciting all crowds with a K. And it just challenges us every day that we go out there to just give it our all, give it our best, to uh, be the best that we can be. Hey, hey Tay. Uh, no, obviously you got a chance to, to find the end zone this weekend, and you yes, talked sir. about Coach Brewer. Obviously, what he's been able to kind of help you and help how he's taught you and or taught you, uh, brought you along, things like that. But um, having a couple of veterans in the room, obviously Deshaun Jones, Caden Prather. Do you feel like you've been able to kind of see them, you know, maybe help? Um, and do you feel like maybe you've taken anything in from their game and installed into yours? Uh, yes, I have. I say, especially with Jay Sean, um, he's actually my roommate. Like going into the season, so like being able to like. Uh, He's like he's also a huge leader on the team, so and he has a lot of experience. So being able to like learn from him, me and him just talking, talking ball, it's pretty, it's really big, and I uh, I really appreciate him for that. Hi, Octavian, back here. Um, you talked about focusing on this week being a com more complete game. You know, having a slow start the first two games, a fast start in the last game. What was the key, do you think, to having 
the fast start in and making sure you start off again fast this week? Uh, it all plays down part to execution. Uh, so now we just need to, we know what we're capable of. We know we can finish strong. We know we can start fast. And like I said, now it's just a part of us executing to the best of our ability to have a complete game. And how do you think you've grown now your kind of second year as a major part of the offense? I say uh, becoming more of a, like a sound receiver, like learning what it means to actually play receiver because I played a uh, quarterback in high school. So making the switch uh, my freshman year, it was like getting a feel for it, something that's kind of new to me. Cause I, I could always play receiver and other positions, but like being able to like di dive into one specific uh, position and like really gain a lot of, like uh, like you said, Coach Brew, he played a big part in that, gaining a lot from him. Uh, going into this year, it was pretty big, so I, I just focused on that, like what it means to truly uh, play receiver, understanding coverage is more from like a receiver standpoint, releases and things like that uh, to improve my game. Thank you. I wanted to ask, you know, you kind of lined up in the backfield a couple times this year. How comfortable are you feeling in that role? Uh, pretty comfortable. Uh, not something that I'm not uh, too new to. Um, so I think it's uh, pretty cool. Just uh, opportunities to spread the defense out, get them to, uh, like, guess what's going on and put the ball in, uh, in the uh, players' hands and things of that nature. Just different looks, different variations of things that we do. And then Coach Loxie was talking about how he's trying to balance the message after some games where you guys win, but maybe haven't met the standard that he mm -hmm. wants for the program. And when he comes and talks to you guys, how do you see him kind of balancing that message? And how do you guys as a team try to balance those two kind of conflicting ideas? Can you repeat that? Like, can you say it in a different way? Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> when you guys win, but yeah. don't meet the standard that Coach yeah. sets for you guys, how do you balance that in your head? And how have you seen Coach balance that as he talks to you guys post game? Uh, we know every win we get is big, and we know we like we said. Uh, we know like when we haven't met the standard, like coach comes in, and he says like we are we're already knowing that. So then it comes to a point like we come back in on Monday, and we just got to get back to work and just continue to improve as a team collectively. How do you balance wanting to enjoy mm -hmm. victory when that happens? It's kind of hard. Well, for me personally. Um, because like, like we want to have that complete game. So uh, being able to like balance it, this, like he has like this 24 hour thing, like enjoy the win for 24 hours. But once that 24 hours is over, then we got to get back to work. We on to the next week. So I say enjoying it just for that, that amount of time. And then knowing that Monday when we come back in is back to work. Yeah. Does anything stand out to you about Indiana for the game this weekend? Um, yes, they have a pretty good defense, uh, but our coaching staff, we're all confident in our coaching staff and as well as the offensive unit to dial up things to attack uh, some of their weaknesses.